Snoop, this, this could be either... This, this could be something really good or you about to be on YouTube. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most hilarious and unforgettable moments celebrities and their kin delivered on Family Feud. You done broke the ice, Chuck. You've been yeah. on the board already, baby. Yeah. If a man zipper breaks a church, what might he use to cover it up? A child. Number 10, Steve Harvey is caught in the middle. Steve don't do no right. I've seen this before. Uh-uh. <laughs> you don't get in the middle of heavyweights when they doing what they do. They hit too hard. If they accidentally hit you, it's gone. It's Christmas. What do you get when you stick a comedian and TV host between two teams of professional heavyweight boxers? Pure chaos. When Victor Ortiz and company face off against Sugar Shane Mosley and friends on Celebrity Family Feud, host Steve Harvey found himself right in the middle of the madness. Oh, Come on, Steve, where are you? Where was I? I'm not, no, I'm the host. Yeah, I'm the host. Opponents Ray Mercer and James Tony took the face-off round a little too literally and had to be separated by the rest of the guys. Even Harvey knew he was out of his depth here. Things got even more heated when Mercer's team won control of the question, leaving Harvey yearning for the comfort and safety of his home. Hell, I can't whoop nobody up here. I'm just... <laughs> I was gonna try to point to somebody, but I can't whoop nobody hey, up here. Steve, you can't whoop no, you can't whoop nobody over here, but over there, no problem. <laughs> Number nine, Kim Kardashian survey of one. On a scale of one to ten, how sexy are you compared to the people you work with? Ten. Name a part. <laughs> yeah, okay, stop. The goal of Family Feud is to guess the most popular answers from a survey of 100 people. But when Kim Kardashian appeared on the show in 2018, she seemed more interested in giving answers that applied specifically to her own life. Do I get those seconds back? No, 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 no. We're gonna start off. You just had to get the same answer. I just, I was stunned at the question. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Just do it. Yeah, you are. During the fast money round, not only did she think most people would rate themselves a 10 on the attractiveness scale, but she also guessed butt for a body part people often bumped into things. Kardashian's answer left Steve Harvey with a grin on his face that said it all. Well, we understand that's probably true for her. Clearly, not everyone shares her famous curves. No, I've, I've really, like, knocked things over with my butt before, so this is really true for me. Number eight, RuPaul writes his own question. Name a way a woman can flirt with a man without... Oh, I did it so fast, didn't I? <laughs> Sometimes, Family Feud contestants get jumpy and buzz in before Steve Harvey can finish reading out the question. Usually, this means they give the wrong answer and lose control to the other team, but drag icon RuPaul wasn't about to fall into that trap. Name a way a woman can flirt with a man without him thinking that she's a whore. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking you're gonna say. Squaring off against actress Katie Stevens from The Bold Type, RuPaul hit the buzzer too early and had to improvise an ending to the question. Amazingly, his response turned out to be the number one answer on the board. This may not be the usual way to play the game, but sometimes the end justifies the means. By batting her eyelashes! <laughs> Number seven, Walter ain't no dummy. Before we, uh, you introduce us or I introduce them, there's somebody that wants to come out here and help. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when comedian Jeff Dunham competed on the show with his family in 2018, he brought along an extra special guest contestant, his ventriloquist dummy Walter. Steve Harvey wasn't new to Walter's antics, but this encounter was truly unforgettable. As Harvey bantered with the curmudgeonly Vietnam War veteran, he found himself questioning reality itself. Do you really? I do, I love the show. You know, why am I talking to him I, like I, he real? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so caught up, I'm like, <laughs> 
I'm like, I'm into this dude. Walter, ever the quick-witted fellow, had the perfect comeback for that. Soon, Harvey and the dummy began to see similarities within each other. However, their banter quickly devolved into a duel of sly jabs and subtle digs. And we don't know about you, but in this round, we're giving all the points to Walter. I feel the same way when talking to you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're actually there. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, Marjorie Harvey would totally trade Steve. We got a good one for you tonight. This is gonna be a humdinger. It's my wife, Marjorie, and the Harvey boys, team. After years of keeping his own family off the show, Steve Harvey finally let them compete on the fourth season of Celebrity Family Feud. Things got a little awkward when Harvey's wife Marjorie took to the stand for the face-off round. When asked what most women would trade their husband for, Marjorie responded with an answer that completely knocked the wind out of her own husband. Some days I'd be willing to trade my man for a really good what? Pool boy. A good what? <laughs> Harvey's reaction left the entire audience in stitches. Now we understand why he kept his family off the show for so long. He was all in good fun, though. But let's spare a thought for the Harvey family pool boy who probably lost his job after this. Right here. I was just playing. Yeah, but, yeah, but what did you say, though? <laughs> pool boy. Number five, Sherry Shepard probably needs therapy. Name something a lady cop might do to her husband in the bedroom. Cut his penis off! Just when you think you've heard the wildest answer on Family Feud, along comes actress Sherry Shepard to prove you wrong. When asked what a female cop might do to her husband in the bedroom, Shepard jumped in first with a jaw-dropping response. Sherry, listen to me. Okay. This, this that we're doing, this is a game show. Okay. This isn't therapy. <laughs> Sure, what she said was brutal, but her delivery made it absolutely hysterical. Steve Harvey was so taken aback, he needed a moment to regain his composure. Unsurprisingly, none of the survey respondents felt the same way as Shepard, as her answer didn't make the top six responses on the board. We bet her partner is relieved she didn't pursue a career in law enforcement. I just thought most of America would feel that way. I didn't, you know, <laughs> if they've been through something. You know. But then in the back, we hear you, Sherry. Yes, Sherry. <laughs> Number four, Neil deGrasse Tyson and Steve Harvey discuss science. Damn thing about it. <laughs> Just trying to bring the universe down to Earth. I was going, man, this brother brilliant. Many science debates throughout history have revolved around the seventh planet in our solar system. Not necessarily over its specific properties, but about its pronunciation. On the fourth season of Celebrity Family Feud, Steve Harvey got schooled on how to say Uranus by none other than Neil deGrasse Tyson. Named her after one of the moons of Uranus. Ur Uranus, I think, is how we, uh, <laughs> oh, we pronounce no, it. No, Uranus is the thing in the middle. After Harvey pronounced it the exact same way every middle schooler probably does, Tyson stepped in to correct him. We pronounce no, it. No, Uranus is the thing in the middle. I'm sorry about that. Two different areas, totally. Uranus is up there, Uranus is right. No one's seen that. Harvey, however, wasn't having it and playfully got right up in Tyson's face. The famed astrophysicist wasn't the only one to give Harvey a hard time. His son Travis also took a dig at the host's bald head. I love the hair, man. I love the hair. What do you do? But you want some of that. No. <laughs> Number three, Shaquille O'Neal's staggering height. How oh, Chuck did he do Chuck right? did height, man. Chuck got 134 points. Yeah. yeah. You need 66, Diesel. You ready? Yes, sir. Steve Harvey is a fairly tall guy, standing somewhere between six foot and six foot two inches, according to most sources. But next to former NBA star Shaquille O'Neal, he looked like a toddler. After O'Neal completed the Fast Money round in this season five episode, Harvey couldn't help but point out their comical height difference. Normally, I put my arm around the person, <laughs> but this ain't gonna look good. 
As he was unable to reach O'Neill's shoulder like he usually would, Harvey was left with no option but to wrap his arm around his waist. With a little help from the big man himself, it was admittedly an uncomfortable moment for the host, but an absolutely hilarious one for everyone watching. That was a very uncomfortable moment. <laughs> All right, we need 66 points. Let's go. We ask 100 married women if it were up to you, how many nights a week would you make love? You said four. Number two, Charles Barkley's really bad answer. You done broke the ice, Chuck. You've been yep. on the board already, baby. Yep. If a man's zipper breaks a church, what might he use to cover it up? A child. You know you've given a really terrible answer on Family Feud when one of your teammates abandons you for the opposing team. That's exactly what happened when basketball legend Charles Barkley offered this baffling response after he was asked what a man could use to cover a broken zipper in church. Not a good answer. 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 Not only did sportscaster Ernie Johnson switch teams, but the rest of the players made sure Barkley knew just how bad his answer was. He then tried to defend himself, but only managed to dig a deeper hole. In the end, though, it was Barkley who got the last laugh, as his answer still matched one of the responses on the board. Oh, I, I, I met a baby! Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> then he tried to fix it. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, pie in the what? Snoop, this this could be either. This, this could be something really good or you about to be on YouTube. There's hardly anyone quite as unpredictable as Snoop Dogg. The rapper proved just that when he appeared on Celebrity Family Feud in 2016. Despite a few early stumbles, Snoop's family eventually bested former boxer Sugar Ray Leonard's team to make it to Fast Money. When asked to complete the phrase pie in the blank, Snoop responded with everyone's favorite one-toed hoofed mammal. Fill in the blank, pie in the what? Horse. There was no way Steve Harvey would let it slide. Once they reviewed the answers, Harvey gave Snoop a hard time, even poking fun at one of the rapper's well-known hobbies. Predictably, no one else thought of Snoop's unique answer, but he still managed to rack up enough points to win. Perhaps some horse pie to celebrate? I mean, your brain cells have suffered a little bit. <laughs> You're gonna have moments like this. this is a this is going to be on YouTube. <laughs> Which of your favorite stars would you love to see compete on Celebrity Family Feud? Let us know in the comments below. You don't get this, Neil. <laughs> your Uranus is going to be in a lot of trouble. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.